Let's, let's get it going. It's time for game on, game over. Carolina Bliss. Ella Trader Chief, Best I Hurt. What's up, Best I? What's going on? What's up, boss lady? Good morning. How you doing? How you doing? I'm here. I'm good. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah? Uh-oh. Oh, but it's okay. Uh, Cam, Cam, Cam will be back next year. It's all right. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> you know you miss Cam. You know you miss Cam I after mean, what just happened. You know you we'll miss Cam. We'll talk about that. Okay, we'll all right. We'll talk about that. Right, anyway, what's going on, Vesta? What you got for us today? All right, Kyle Allen's four interception performance in the Panthers 29 to 3 loss to the Falcons Sunday had a lot of people wishing Cam Newton uh wishing for Cam Newton. It was crazy online how many how many people had quickly jumped off of that uh Kyle <laughs> Allen bandwagon and were wishing for the days of Newton. But Ron Rivera is defending his young quarterback. I was in a press conference yesterday. Game on and game over to Ron Rivera's assertion that Allen's struggles are simply growing pains. Young quarterback growing pains. Well, mm-hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> game job, o- Did I hear game over in the background? It good, was, good my job, mic she, was off we, because we, they we hate me We got a mic off because we put on an entire time out. They exactly. hate me on the sports shop. They're so to come back. <laughs> what? That was a long line for the latte. Um, game over. He struggled with turnovers before – even like in college, he continues to turn uh struggle with turnovers. Um, game over. It's not growing pains. He just it's like you need to just fix your issue. It's not necessarily like I'm a, saying game on a great game growing pain. Oh, you saying great game growing pain? Really? Yeah, really? Yeah. Like because Kyle Kyle Allen. Allen. Huh. He, does. No, he say, has him tagged. No, I say he's killer cow. He'll did kill, he go to, did he go to Carolina? Wait, he's killer cow. He'll kill <laughs> you in a good way. He'll kill you. He'll kill you. Right. He'll kill you. All right. Right. Reed. There's only one killer in Carolina, and that's Cam. You can't have Kyle be killer. Killer Cam. Killer Cam. I can that's name him killer. I won't name him killer. He, he's my killer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's your quarterback. <laughs> hey, killer is, is in the eyes of the beholder. <laughs> <laughs> he's my killer. You can't switch up now, man. You can't be switching up now, man. What are you doing? I say game on. That's what I say. I say it is definitely game over. Game over. Look. You can call it growing pains all you want to. What it really is, is just it's just a clear example of what this team is built and how they perform and how they're just gonna be mediocre at best mm. until they change some things. And all the only difference is if Cam Newton would have been playing, all the talk would have been just about how terrible Cam Newton is and how he mm. couldn't get it done and all these other things and how he's immature and all these other th- all these other pieces. Doesn't matter the quarterback you put in that position. This team is destined to be mediocre at best. Okay. Period. That is a perfect segue to another question that I have. Mm. Um, but as far as my answer on this game over, I mean, one of the defensive linemen for the Falcons said that Allen was throwing the ball with his eyes closed, which is one of his interceptions um, oh. as he was as he was rushing him wow. about to get well, wait, wait, wait wow. a minute wait a minute wow. wait, he just like Sam Darnold he was seeing ghosts the same thing <laughs> he's throwing eyes <laughs> well you don't want that guy as your quarterback I mean you got I, I don't know the man, you know the man I don't think, really? I think Ky- I, that's what that's what Tat said. Dang, man, Tat. Tat. That explains the four interceptions right there. <laughs> Damn, man, Tat. That's, you said his eye that's what I didn't say that. That's what a defensive lineman for the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> tweeted yesterday. He said that he would rather throw the ball with his eyes closed than to take a sack from me. That's that's exactly what he what he tweeted. <laughs> but but is, uh, listen, guys, Kyle Allen is a formidable backup. That is what he is. Yeah, that is what true. his role okay. is. There is there is no way that you can fairly compare him to Cam Newton, a former NFL MVP, someone who led the Panthers to a Super Bowl, someone who has done a lot with a Carolina team who has had less than as far as offensive linemen, as far as weapons offensively. Um, so, I, no, I don't think it's growing pains. I just think that Kyle Allen, you know, so far he's been out kicking his coverage. Oh, uh, well, at least he can run across Trade Street. Cam can't do that. Because Cam, I, I can't run. Cam is not in the booth. <laughs> I've seen him in the locker room. He seems to be walking around well, but, you know, we'll see. That's, All right, that's what else you got? Thing. Right. So much going on. Okay, run. it's, it's, it's one the- thing. <laughs> go ahead, Vesta. Go ahead. Keep it going. <laughs> With the signing of top 50 prospect Josh Hall, Kevin Keats Ooh, now has the fifth-ranked yeah. recruiting class 
in the nation. Which is not Four done of the top in NC 10 State. Prospects yeah. in the state are NC State commits. That's Cam Hayes, Nick Farrar, Hall, who I just mentioned, and Shaquille Moore. Uh, there's a note Duke is number two and UNC is number three. Game on and game over that the tough neighborhood has overshadowed what Keats has done at NC State. Well, that in that early loss. <laughs> Well, I, no, actually, I think people are pleasantly, pleasantly uh, surprised with what's going on with NC he's State now. He's only been here yeah. a couple of years. So, I think. yeah, he, he's putting his footprint yeah. over on Hillsborough Street. So you're going to see more of, this, more of this going forward. The reason you don't know that he has these recruits Why? is because they came out and they lost that first game. No. I'm serious. <laughs> they, I'm saying. I'm just telling. You, look, I, man, y'all look. They lost to Georgia Tech the same way last year, so it's yeah. same. But they year. lost to Georgia Tech. Okay. So the hey. mini they lost to Georgia yeah. Tech. People are like, oh, okay. Well, let's wait and see what they do midway through the season. Right. Well, game on, fast time. Answer your question. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Also, yeah. listen. I Kevin Keats is considerably younger. Than Roy Williams and Coach K, and, he, and he'll tell and, you. And by the way, he'll tell you that, and he will tell he you. Told, yes. He told us that, <laughs> darling. He did tell us that. So he did wait. tell us that. So you tell me that's Coach that, Key's strategy. But wait about. <laughs> I, th there you, there you are, right there. I listen. Keats is laying a foundation a to be to that Maybe guy good. in the neighborhood after K and Roy retire. By five I think years. that's what he's doing. I, you know, I don't know. May, I, maybe five years. I don't know. You think they retire within five years? Uh, they'll be tired of coaching be in what, five years. Coach K will be 87, yeah. Yeah, yeah he'll be tired. <laughs> <laughs> you disrespectful, Reese. What's going on, man? How you going to do that? <laughs> no, listen, How you going to do that? I I'm really gonna don't tell him. I'm going to tell him next time I see it. I'm going to say, Reese tells him that he's you You going to challenge him, too? I ain't going to challenge him. Because you really challenged Coach K this morning. You really gave it to him, came back. I got to tell you. Hey, it's sorry, Joe Vesta. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Keep it going. Okay. All right. We have time for one more? Yeah. One, one more, yeah. Okay. David Tepper, you talked about mediocrity, K-Mac. David Tepper met with reporters yesterday mm. to talk about the status of the Panthers. During the meeting, he said that no decisions would be made about Cam Newton until it's known whether he can get 100% healthy. Okay. He would not talk about Ron Rivera and Marty Herney's future other than – Honing in on the fact that long-term mediocrity would not be tolerated. Apparently, this is, <laughs> I was not there, but he mentioned that several times. Um, he also mentioned that the Panthers have not had back-to-back -back seasons. He said he lost sleep over that loss on Sunday. Game on and game over that if the Panthers don't make the playoffs, Herney and Rivera are gone. Okay. Wow. Yeah, I think they're gone. So, let, let me ask you guys a quick question. Yeah. So, if someone says mediocre will not be tolerated, hello. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm here. So who they talk? Who they talking about? I mean, should you They're should you be in your feelings? Team. Should you be in your feelings? Hello. Should you be in your feelings? I'm here. <laughs> should you be in your feelings though? Seriously, though, Rich, should you be in your feelings? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. I would be. I think they're gonna fire him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I he think gone. he's gone. He's gone. He's done. He gone. Invest out. We got to go too. We got to roll. <laughs> Well, thank you. We got to roll. Sorry, right, we, we do appreciate you. We up against that. Backside, look. Backside, don't want to. She don't want to see Ron lose his job. That's all that is. <laughs>